for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, and today we're going to be going over the market. The market has completely crashed. This is because the new Randy Moss and Ed Reed have just dropped. Before I get into it, first off, they got the new lens on. It's a little zoomed right now, so I'm going to have to work with that. Also, the lighting with the softbox and the ring. I still got to get the softboxes, but I'm trying to get this working with the background and the f-stop and stuff. You guys don't understand what that even means, but I'm trying to get that all going. And then once I get that... Everything will be nice with the new angle. Before I get into the video, make sure to like, comment, and sub. For the likes, let's go for 50 likes. And then comment down below what you make of this and what you're planning to do with this market crash. I'm going to explain to you what I would do with it right now. And then make sure to sub. We're going for 3K subs by the end of the month. It's a little slower this time of the year, so not entirely sure. If that's doable this month, we're going to go for it. The goal is to get as many, I like get the biggest support, like fan base I can bring in to the next Madden. But anyway, let's get into the video. So first off, you see right here the Randy Moss and the Ed Reed and the Steve Young. That killed it really, really bad. And I didn't think it was that bad until I got on the game. So look at this. The one guy that I've been saying that I always check for for the market whenever, whenever the market's dead is Michael Vick. Just look at this right here. Look, look at these prices. 211. 211. Look at Vick right now. Vick is at... Oh, Vick just went back up. Still low. Vic was just at 305, like literally 20 minutes ago. I actually recorded this video already, and the file corrupted, so I'm recording. I'm re-recording it right now. But in my last recording, Vic was at 305k, so he's slowly going back up. So if you ever wanted a Vic, I recommend getting it soon. Dion was at 390. Wow, things are going back up, but they're still low. And then Lawrence Taylor was just at 395. Let's see what she said. Okay, yeah, he's he's still fine. But I'd recommend getting your Vic, your Lawrence Taylors right now. Now, what I wouldn't recommend doing, I'll tell you the cards I wouldn't recommend getting. Hold up. I don't know why I just did that. So, the cards I wouldn't get is because Ultimate Legends aren't as useful this year as they used to be because of chems. So, I'll explain to you what I mean right now. So, the way, well, before I get into that, the way I would run this, the way I'd run this promo right now. Not promo. Market crash. Sorry. I would be sniping these cards out right now because they're so cheap. Snipe them out for like 200k and then hold on to them. But well, let me tell you the cards that if you're going to keep, I wouldn't keep. So, going down to Deion Sanders is one of them. So, Deion Sanders, as much as I want this card, where is he? Really, he's going to be gone now. Damn. All right. I like how it literally doesn't show me Deion Sanders. It's funny. All right. So, Deion right here. Let's, com let's compare him real quick. Look at his stats compared to my Deion. The speed due to chems, they both have 99 speed, they both have 99 excel, they're both going to have close to 99 agility, they're both going to have high jumping, they're both going to have 99 play rec, 99 man, 99 zone, and they're both going to have disgusting press, so, and disgusting in a bad way. So, these are literally the same exact cards, the catching is a difference of 91 to 89, which you can get that up with chems anyways with John Madden. So, literally, this card is the exact same card, so I would not recommend getting my, um, Deion Sanders. Vic is similar in that they're close, but at least the speed gets a lot. The speed gets better, and a few passing stats that weren't as good before. But like, they're kind of the Vic's kind of the same card too. But it's just different when you're going for a quarterback. But from a, uh, a quarterback, from a corner, a cornerback standpoint, the only difference is the press gets slightly better, but the press is bad to begin with, anyways. So I would definitely be going for Lawrence Taylor or Michael Vic. Now this new, this new Ed Reed, I would not be going for because the new Ed Reed is going for. A little over 500k. I mean, he's not bad, but his hit power still kind of sucks. You can get... I mean, Ed Reed cards do play very well. Like, if I had him powered up... Like, if you compare to my Jamal Adams, they both have high excel. They're both going to have maxed out speed. Jamal's taller, has better tackling. The only difference is the is the um, the coverage stat. So, if you're going for a coverage safety, go him. But, like, there's other coverage safeties. Like, obviously, Jamal isn't the best comparison because he's not a coverage safety. He's more of a hybrid. He's not just pure ball hawking coverage. Ed Reed's in horrible. Now, the Steve Young... Wouldn't bother touching either. He's literally a poor man's Vic. Not really, I wouldn't say poor man. He's a preference Vic because if you compare, I'm not gonna compare them for you guys because I already know what they are. But Vic has the same stats, except he's a lot faster in the stats that matter at least. Now this new Randy Moss again would not touch it. Compare it to my Moss. 
They both get 99 speed. They both get 99 jump. They both can have 99 catch. Because remember that even though he gets, the, they both get the boost, but Randy Moss's will hit 99, so he won't go. He will only go up one. When this Randy Moss takes three to four boost, I have pressed that. It's gonna be all 99s. The only difference is that this will have slightly better short route running and medium route running, but I'm not paying 700k for a plus two to route running when they already hit the thresholds. It's literally the only difference. They got the, they're gonna have the same speed, same jump, same catch, same catch in traffic, same spec catch, and same deep route running. The only difference is gonna be short and medium. But they both hit the threshold. I'm not even sure how important that is at this point in the game anyways. So I wouldn't bother with it at all. Now, what I would personally do. So let me show you guys the training, the training values these cards are now, right? So these cards are going for, looks like 209. I'm sure to refresh to show you guys the cheapest I could find. So 209. 209 divided by the training value. 5.64 coins per training, which is the cheapest has probably been no it, it is the cheapest it is the cheapest it's been all year now if you want a training now would be the time it's funny of course today i have to make a cheapest training and draft value this happens so now it's not even remotely accurate anymore now if you go to the 96 97s these cards are about 135 i'm pretty sure they're not filtered out right now but i'll filter them for you oh 131 even cheaper so 131 divided by 26,000. It's it's pretty much four points four points per training. Oh, well, high four like a 4.9. That is the lowest. It's gonna be at least that I've seen. So this is pretty much the end of the market for the rest of the year. Because if you think about it, it's gonna recover a little bit. But then with golden tickets, the Easter promo, the end of the draft promo, and everything, that's it. That's literally it. The market's going to be in flux the rest of the year. This is the time of the year where everyone can just get God Squads are pretty cheap. I wouldn't even worry about holding out to players anymore and keeping a team. I, I would just I would just keep playing the market. And then it comes to a point like I'm at where I don't even care to flip the market. I'm just going to keep my team because there's too, I have too much training invested. So I can't even do what I want to do. But like if you just want to enjoy the game at this point, just as much as you can. I keep them. So here, here's my marketing strategy right now, right? So I would come. What I would do right here is see, let's, let's go with these cards. So, well, these are the 96s. So, we go here. I would buy these cards and then flip them. So, you sit here. Right there. 116 for 97 overall. So, right there. Perfect example. Andre Reed, 97 overall, 116K. I'll keep that card. And on Wednesday, I'll resell it for about 165, 170. And I'll make myself a quick 40K. So, that's what I would do. I would just sit here refreshing. I'd wait. Get them for about 120, 125 or below. And then just resell as the week goes on. I just wait till about Wednesday. There's a lot of opportunity to be flipping these cards right now. If you look at this, you can make about 40k just flipping these cards. This is the best time if you have coins. I re highly recommend you invest into the market right now. You can come Wednesday, you can literally double your coins if you do this properly. Could you do the 98s? Yeah, but these are a lot cheaper, which means there's a lot less reduction, it's a lot simpler. I'll share what the 98s look like though. So if you go to the 98s. 99s you see 211 you could buy these and you could probably resell this for like 270 later but then again you lose 20k so it's only like a 30k profit so i would definitely stick to right here get these for about like i said below 125 and then resell i'll probably make some decent money off that um off that uh what i get andre reed now what i would do is still the vic still might not be a bad idea to get the vic and then wait on him 365 i wish i, I should have got him for 305 i don't know why i hesitated on it it's bad on my part. I missed out on a great Deion Sand, not Deion Sand, Michael Vick deal. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I could have used them. I thought he'd keep going down. I thought he was going to hit like 280 and I was going to buy. Let's see right here, 135. Okay, so that's about it. Pretty much the method. I'd sell Wednesdays. Wednesday's kind of the day. It's like the middle of the week when the week's really dead. So everything's going to be like very expensive, not a lot of movement. And then once all the new promos come out, everything's gonna die. So don't hold on to these cards. If you're gonna if you're gonna buy them and train them, put them on your team, fine. But if you're gonna if you're just looking to flip, sell by Wednesday. Just show you guys what I'm talking about. You got these for one. You guys say I got mine for 116. You sell it for 160. Let's go from like 168, right? 168,000 divided by 116. I mean minus 116 is oh, I just did that. 168 minus 116 is 52 minus the reduction of about. 17k so i'm making about 35 to 40k for that so if you if you have like a million coins you buy a bunch of these and you resell 
they're gonna come up a little bit not too much but they're gonna come back up as you see they're already like um, a lot of the higher cards are already coming up these cards are at 129 before so they're coming up slowly they'll probably settle right around here and when they settle right around here that's where i'm gonna probably sell that's about it for the video thank you guys for watching hope you guys have been enjoying the content and if you have make sure to leave a like We're going for 50 likes like i said that's the goal and then make sure to sub comment what you guys sniped what you guys got what if you guys pulled anything how it's going and if you guys sub thanks it means a lot because we're currently at about through 2031 subs we're going for 3k by the end of this month it's kind of a long shot with the way my the channel's looking right now with the end of madden but setting goals that's about it hope you guys enjoyed the new lens and the new look i'm going to be still editing it a little bit and trying to get a little better look but obviously i have to make this video while the market was dead didn't want to let it keep going up as it is and i already had one recorded and i lost it but that's it guys thank you for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video